Berard over the red line, over the Grizzlies blue line, drops it off. Johnny Evans has a lane, fast door, pass Donaldson, back across, open net, Evans blocks, rebound chance, Donaldson scores! A mad scramble ends up with Cam Donaldson scoring his fifth goal of the playoffs. Less than six minutes into game six, the Kings lead 1-0. Here comes Josh Colbins now down the left wing, trying to step around Finson. Colbins stops up, left point. Cairns across right side for Steen, walking in, tops to the middle. Donaldson, Colbins scores! Great passing by the Kings. Josh Colbins has his first goal of the postseason, and the Kings lead 2 0. Joined alongside by Kings assistant coach Brock Sawyer and coach after getting off to such a great start in the opening 20 uh, it was a tough one to drop a lot of penalty trouble in this game for the guys. No for sure I mean obviously uh, a great start and um, you know have some power plays early get some great looks but don't capitalize and then uh, you know score two and, and we're rolling pretty good and um, no obviously <clears throat> a, a great environment here today with, with the great uh, great fans and um, you know, we, we let our emotions get the best of us, and, uh, I mean, you can't let that happen, especially in playoff hockey. So, um, I mean, yeah, we dropped the ball, but, I mean, there's, you know, tons of positives to build on, and um, as far as I'm concerned, they haven't beat us yet. So we've, we've, got beat, we've beaten ourselves in the three wins that they've had here. So, um, no, we'll regroup and get down on Monday and, and go win a game. Well, it's tough to lose. You guys usually go with 11 forwards, and tough to lose Curtis McCarrick after taking his third stick infraction. just doesn't help when you have down to a 10 forwards in a game. Uh, no, never. But, I mean, uh, you know, you hear it's playoff hockey, so a stick on stick slash shouldn't be called unless it, uh, it blows up in a scoring chance. But, um, you know, a little inconsistent on that call all day. Obviously, Mullen's stick blows up there late. But, yeah, um, it is what it is. You got, you got to play through it and fight through the battles, and um, you face some adversity in the playoffs and it doesn't matter what uh, what the score is you have to play the right way at every time so um, we didn't do that we lost too many one-on-one -on -one battles we failed to get uh, traffic to the net to, to create havoc and um, you know obviously we knew they weren't going to quit so I mean give them credit for sticking with it and, and finding a way to come back and win another game in this building I mean it's a tough place to play and our fans were great tonight obviously the, the biggest crowd we've had all year so um, you know thank you to them but we need to do a, a better job at maintaining our emotions and continuing to play like the score is 0, zero at all times. Judging by that start, I say it's fair to assume the team was pretty fired up for this game and probably even more so for Game 7. Though. Well, I think any time you have an opportunity to put a team away and end, end the season and shake, and shake some hands on home ice, obviously it's uh, it's going to be, um, you know, you, you're going to be pretty rambunctious. But, I mean, you can never get too high and never get too low. I mean, it's... Uh, it's one of those things where you have to do have to do a job, and no matter what the score, play the right way, like I just said. So, um, obviously, our start was great, and our emotions were, were in check. And then, um, you know, we let the better part of, of the game slip away on us, and they they picked up their game and found a way to start winning battles and create some some opportunities for themselves. And um, I mean. It, uh, it's a tough one because we were playing well, but obviously took some inopportune penalties and we weren't very disciplined with our sticks tonight. And, um, you know, that's that's the ball game. But uh, the best part is, is we got one more crack to limit him tomorrow. Obviously, the series now is 0-0 and it's a, it's a one game winner take all. So, um, I mean, I like our chances. We've won um, a number of games down that building and, and two of three in this series. So uh, it is what it is at this point. We got one job to do and that's go down and play 60 full minutes and, and come back here feeling good about ourselves and regroup and, and take take advantage of a week but I mean obviously Monday is going to be huge and um, you know I think you're going to see two hungry desperate teams going out going blow for blow here in the in the final round so it's uh, it's a fun challenge it's a fun opportunity and today we're, we're going to you know learn from our mistakes again and, and get down there tomorrow and uh, and get ready to win a game. One thing I did like tonight was Josh Coleman's nice patience takes that pass in the middle just doesn't shoot right away waits until he has it open net before letting it go. Uh, he's a heads up player I mean obviously he's uh, he's behind some pretty good centermen in, the, in this lineup and obviously his first year in the league but I mean that's that's the thing with him is he can play up and down your lineup he can play in any situation PK PP uh, five on five four on four because he's just so smart and he's he's really coming to his own this season so it's very nice to see him uh, him be rewarded with a goal obviously great uh, great possession down low up D to D and he rolls up high and uh, for whatever reason we had two guys right in their crease on, on their butts but uh, that's the that's the price you got to pay to score goals in the playoffs and uh, you know we need to do a better job at getting in front of Goliath and making him make the difficult saves not slagging on any of the defensive, but tough to have Jake Cole out of the lineup here for tonight's game. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's playoff hockey. So a guy goes down, you got to step up, and, and, and you know, guys need to uh, to shoulder the load. Obviously, he's a 20-year-old, and, and it's tough not having him in as veteran presence. I mean, he's our captain. He's our leader. He's our heart and soul. So, uh, you know, obviously not having him, other guys need to, to step up. And, 
I think it was a, a great effort by all our D tonight. Obviously, some guys didn't see a lot of ice, but, uh, you know, everybody's on board and, and uh, you know, everybody's pulling the rope together for, for a good victory. So it doesn't matter who's in the lineup, who's out of the lineup. We just need to keep playing the right way and, and, and chipping in and picking up guys who are out. So, um, you know, today's over with. We'll, we'll focus and, and get ready to go Monday. All right, Coach, thanks for this, and we'll talk to you Monday. Yeah, thank you. And just obviously, you know, 1,400, I think that's the biggest we've had here. I think it's, the, you know, the most full I've seen this building in, in a very long time obviously so you know thank you to all our fans but uh again to all our volunteers i think you know they're the ones who who don't get the most recognition obviously being here early selling tickets uh security you know everybody who chips in to to make the, this thing possible i mean obviously not the outcome we wanted today but uh, thank you everybody for showing up and um you know hopefully we'll do it all again here in in, in another round so uh you know we'll thank you we appreciate your continued support and um you know we'll see you guys again here in the building for sure we're gonna we're gonna go down there and take care of some business that uh, that we let slip here today so you know thank you the fans and we hope to keep this thing going thanks for this brock thank you